Your species has evolved in a very cold climate where massive continental glaciers spanned across North America. But in the last few years, things have been getting warmer. Your woolly hair is molting and your food sources are shifting biomes in response. This is the warming period at the end of the last ice age and you are a large mega beast in Idaho, the mammoth that likes cooler temperatures. You live amongst other mega beasts, such as the giant American lion that was a fierce predator and larger than today's African lion. It weighed over 500 pounds, but still could run 30 miles an hour. The dire wolf that was 25% heavier than the gray wolf today and weighed over 150 pounds. Creatures called camelops that were more related to llamas than camels today they lived amongst you here in Idaho. Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat, had a body ratio that was more like a bear than a modern cat with very muscular hind legs. Their canines, or saber-toothed teeth, grew seven to 10 inches long. And lastly, you shared the Ice Age steppe environment with a giant ground sloth that could be as tall as modern elephants and heavy as a small car. These all lived in Idaho with you, and they are stressed out like you are. At 10,500 years ago, they were gone from the continental mainlands. Why? Well, four main hypotheses exist. Was it the overkill hypothesis? Humans overhunting the mega beasts for food and resources. The overchill hypothesis. Was the fluctuating climate from cold to warm to cold to warm too much in too short a time for the animals to use their food sources to adapt? The overill hypothesis, did disease contribute to the death of the mega beasts? Or was it the overgrill, a meteorite impact or wildfires that led to the demise of the mega beasts just like the iconic dinosaurs? Here are the mammoth remains from southeastern Idaho, and they're helping us to learn the specifics on this 13,500-year-old pile of bones to unpack this story. Work of these student detectives and many more have performed detailed analysis of the bones and learned that these remains belong to a male mammoth that was 18 to 29 years old, and mammoths could live up to 60 years old. And it was not on after death by large and small carnivores as well as rodents. There was no evidence of human butchering and the bones were randomly scattered by scavengers. After CAT scanning all the bones at Gritman Medical Center, analysis of the bones tell us about injuries and health. The mammoth had a partially healed fracture on its foot and possibly bone disease. The most interesting finding is it's a hybrid between the well-known woolly mammoth and the lesser known but more common mammoth in the US, the Colombian mammoth. As mammoths tried to survive, they interbred, creating a mammoth hybrid species, the Jeffersonian mammoth. And as these mammoths became more stressed, they began to compete for resources as well. We have the only confirmed Jeffersonian mammoth hybrid in Idaho, and only one of two in the entire Western United States. While distinct populations of mammoths have determined across the US, little is known about where we live. New research in my prehistoric life lab is determining what the mammoths ate and if they had to shift their diets as food sources shifted with the changing climate. We are also answering the question of whether the mammoth migrated extra far distances in search of resources in an attempt to survive. Could the mega beasts cope with these climate fluctuations causing major food source and habitat changes? Could they withstand overpredation by humans or disease? What was the cause of death? And was that cause of death related to the death of all the other mega beasts that lived at the same time? Our pile of bones of one mammoth has a much greater story to tell about the mega beasts. And we are experiencing mega beasts becoming extremely endangered and eventually extinct. And we have only reached the tip of the Ice Age iceberg.